Welcome to the Greenbrier. Let's go. I've never been to this place, but from what I hear, they've got like pretty much everything you could imagine. We're gonna find out. Let's check out what's inside. Okay, right now we're about to enjoy the uh, afternoon high tea here at the Greenbrier. Right, come on. Thank you very much. You're welcome. To West Virginia. Usually I do coffee review, but this is tea review. I think it's the first ever tea review on the channel. That's delicious. Did you dip? I don't know the proper etiquette. Okay. Oh. It's a good, good start to the trip. 9.5 out of 10 tea review. Greenbrier. all these historic photos. I mean, the Greenbrier's been around. A link below, it's been here for a long time. President Dwight D. Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy, Lyndon B. Johnson. I mean, they got, everybody's been here. They got a theater in here too. Uh, today we're gonna, well, you can see, what is that? Sing or Grown Ups too. Hmm, not my thing. I'm more of like a Top Gun, Mission Impossible kind of guy. But let's check it out. I love old theaters like this. I'm like an old soul at heart. This is my kind of place to hang out. Like, I, I like those Hertz castles. That's kind of my era. And this, this is my era theater. The bunker at the Greenbrier, that is where like, it was like the presidential fallout, like where you would escape nuclear like disaster. We could take a tour or we can go to the spa. But they got, they got everything for you here. Come on. This is the row of everything, I call it. I, ever since I was a kid, living trees that talk freak me out. It's like clowns and trees with eyeballs. Mm. But some people love this. <laughs> Kids love this stuff. I, I'm gonna have nightmares though. Things you can do at the Greenbrier. Ah, uh, Tavy's Mountain Adventures, Gun Club, Equestrian Center, Fishing School, Off-Road Driving. I mean, we're here for the golf, but there's a lot. The list goes on and on. If they put everything here, it would go to the ground and probably down the uh, aisle here. This pool already is epic. Like, it's like, you look out, it's like an infinity pool. You look out and it's just, whoosh, check it out. One of the holes, the flag stick comes up right to the, like the opening of the pool right here. It'll walk in like beach and then check it out. So you could swim, you could look at the American flag, you could look at some golf. This is probably my favorite outdoor pool of the clubs I've been to so far. 10 of 10, Greenbrier. Golf clap, golf clap all day. All right, here we go. We got upgraded. What? So there's the private club version of this membership and the resort version of this facility. So if you stay at the resort, you have access to three golf courses, but most of the members, private members, play over at the Fazio Golf Course. So they're members of the Greenbrier Sporting Club, which includes everything. Most of them play over there. And then they have these three courses as well, which are spectacular tour courses. You know the deal. Here's the winners of the previous Greenbrier events. Inside, like hallowed ground, I would say. My favorite golfer of all time right there. You guys always give me a hard time about my hat. I'll take my hat off. 
inside locker room, you got this area, this kind of member area here, over here. Great spot. Uh, all the lockers have names of uh, players who played in the uh, past oh, event here in 2019. Liv's coming here this year in August, 2023. Look what they did for me here. I can't believe it. <sighs> they got me my own locker. A Mr. Short Game Locker. Look at this. This is like the champion's locker room. <laughs> I should not be here. Showers, sink. This is like old school style locker room. This is my kind of locker room. Classic. Like Sam Sneed was here a lot. He's one of my favorite players of all time. I just feel like I'm in the essence of golf. Welcome to the range at Greenbrier. We got the whole joint to ourselves. Love days like this. Here's what I love about this particular range at the Greenbrier. One, depth, like texture on the range. There's a bunker right in the middle of it. So you got kind of great ways to aim and adjust. It's gonna feel more like a real course. Trees on either side, again, makes you feel like you're in the middle of a golf course. I, 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 I know this is getting picky, but I do love a mountain in the background. I could pick spots on the mountain to aim, which will be exactly what I'm gonna do on the golf course, right? Pick spots, it's just not a freeway. Obviously that's location dependent, but here in mountains of West Virginia, it's a pretty good location. I just love being able to turn around and see a beautiful clubhouse and uh, just an incredible morning. And in the morning, the sun's at your back. It's excellent. Let's take you to the short game area here at the Greenbrier. Pretty spectacular. It's actually connected to a green over here uh, on the course. It comes down to here, Ooh. three flags, many bunkers, tree stuff. To, you can have a great time over here. Pro tip for you, when you come out of the bunker, when you're in the rough, just, it's, it's more of looking cool than anything. Just pick your foot up and kick the sand off your, off your shoes like that, like that. And then pick the back one up like this and go a little backwards like that. And try to, if you look at the hole while you do it, you're even cooler. And then, then give it a little Rory strut. You're good. All right, this is the Meadows course. Oh, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna tip it out today. It's not long, but it's tight and tricky from what Sarge was telling me, her starter, and you're gonna see some cool stuff. Oh, first hole magic, what do you know? This is your golf cart review portion of the video for the Greenbrier. Today we're rocking the Elite RXV model by Easy Go. Green color a la the Greenbrier colors. Cruising in cart 101 today. We do have a lovely golf ball cleanser right here. Love these guys. And a club washer here. That one's good because it doesn't splash all over you. Sometimes those bristles get too hard and water flies all over the planet. Don't like that. Got a beautiful, perfectly clean flip up, flip down plexiglass screen. Nice green briar logo adorning the front hood of the Easy Go cart. Tire tread on this bad boy is a 10 of 10. Uh, layout on this is pretty standard golf cart layout model. We do have the pace digital screen on top. GPS the whole nine yards with like color coded topography, heat sensing maps of the green complexes. 
for every hole. It does rain here a lot in the afternoons. We got this uh, nice uh, flip up, flip down screen with a Greenbrier logo on it to keep your clubs nice and dry in case of an afternoon shower. Two sand models, one for you and your partner, or two for you with the, they got the green colored sand fill. Love it. Nice, beautiful, cream colored seat. That's your Elite RXV Greenbrier Golf Cart Review. Hope you enjoy it. Bunker review here at the Greenbrier. This is the Meadows course, and we are rocking these old school kind of. Uh, I don't know, UK style pot bunkers. Look at this. I don't play these kind of bunkers very often with the side, like these big giant pot bunkers. I feel like when I'm in this trap, I'm like back in time, old school. I love this kind of style, this kind of look. Let's see how I hit it out of here and then we'll give it a complete rating on a scale of one to a million. All right, we're gonna do a little pot bunker review here. I don't know if I can get this out. We'll see, Greenbrier. Pot bunker, metals course. Hey, I did it. <laughs> I got sand all over my body. All right, 10 out of 10 for pot bunkers. I love it. I don't do much out of here, but we got as close as we could. Put it against a sod, Greenbrier. Link below. All right, uh, green review here at the Greenbrier. This is the Meadows course. These are bent grass greens. They're absolutely spectacular. It's June time of year, so if you're thinking about planning a time, uh, the greens are immaculate. Probably running about 11 and a half on the stint meter today. All right, now let's do a rolling test. Back into the grain is where you're gonna have the most bounces. So let's see how pure these actually are. I didn't see one bounce. Did I make it? Oh, I made it. No bounces, pure bent grass greens. There's very few divot marks on here. This is nice. I'm gonna give these greens a nine five out of 10. They don't get much purer than this. speed I had the line not the speed he's all may I please have a transfusion Certainly. sky you want two please Excellent. that should do it appreciate it Excellent. Uh, oh if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so and uh, leave a comment let me know what your favorite cocktail is on the golf course cheers Old white golf course today, the Greenbrier, first tee. Hill over there was telling me, this is Tom Watson's favorite tee shot. Favorite first hole tee shot. It's beautiful. On the third hole, so far Old White is like my favorite course out here at uh, Greenbrier. North of the Barretts, which is that dip in the middle of this green here. 180 downwind. Seven iron, I think. Third green here at Greenbrier, Old White course. This is the Barretts. Now, Barretts is like a giant dip valley in the green. This one is the, my favorite that I've ever seen. It looks like a skateboard uh, pool, like a ramp, a skateboard ramp. Look at this thing, like a snowboard park. You could catch some air in this thing. That is a Barretts. This is seven iron for me. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go in the Barretts. And then 
it could be like seven iron, probably a four iron here on this hole. And you put that pin in the barrettes, hole in one location, I guess. And just for you, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna putt from the other one through the barrettes to the hole, uh, closest to, it. if I get within 10 feet, subscribe to the channel. And if I get within more than that, subscribe twice. Baritz review, old white Coors Greenbrier. Congratulations, perfect score. Here at the Greenbrier, they have this garden. They use all these vegetables and whatnot for the restaurants here at the Greenbrier. Look at this. And they even plant these rows of other flowers for like pest control. Like they know what they're doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but it looks like they know what they're doing. And by the way, the restaurants here, spectacular. Sam Sneed's, whew, those steaks were out of this world. All three of them. We spent a lot of money on dinner last night, and I'd have to say, as cheapskate as I am, it was well worth every single penny. So as far as gardens go in the private club golf course category, number one on the list, 10 of 10. Great job, Greenbrier, old white course. Final hole here at the Greenbrier, Old White Course, par three, and just the coolest shaped green ever, 145. We're going back into the wind. Whew. Stuart Appleby birdied this hole to shoot a 59 to win the Greenbrier Classic one year. Do I fire at that flag? I don't think I have enough club, hold on. Well, that's plenty of club. There's a lot of wind up there. I'm on. We're putting. All right. I have uh, the longest putt on this green that is possible. There's a thumbprint in the middle of the green. I've got to ride the midnight highway, and it's going to turn hard like this and come up and go around the other way. So, I mean, good luck is an understatement. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, that's it. All right, had decent speed. Oh, well, classic three putt. This is a tough little green. I love it. That's inside and outside the Greenbrier. Hope you had a great time. Link below, book your trip. Have a great adventure. Love you guys. See you in the next video.